Welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. Today, <laughs> looks a bit crazy, but I've got the new Airfix Mystery Box. Now, Airfix Mystery Boxes have been unavailable for a while, and then luckily, a few days before my birthday, they came available again, and my wife's bought me one for my birthday. So, I'm going to unbox it, and you can see just what you get in the new Airfix mystery box. This one is the aircraft one. £22.99 but there is postage to pay but if you buy another kit for about eight quid you get free postage so it was buy another kit and you're getting it virtually like for four quid for another kit. So let's see what you get inside. I bought the Japanese I think it was zero or something like that with it so have a look. It is right. Where are we? I think I've ended up with two of the same from it to what it says there, but we'll see. Doesn't matter. Build a couple of different variants. So what we got in the box? Well, a quick look here. You can see we've got scale electric and a uh, Back to the Future. I wouldn't be interested in that. The Hornby collection, the collector, sorry, which is the trains. I don't do trains, so I've got the Curtis P40B Warhawk. It's a nice kit. I'll put that there. We'll have another look at them again in a minute. I have gotten a Airfix Mitsubishi A6M2B0 but <laughs> this is where it gets good I purchased one of them to make up the numbers with the kit so ah well I've got an extra one for four quid and at the bottom we have got the 172 Messerschmitt ME 262A dash 2A and that looks like a lot. Right, let's get rid of that. Oh, checking camera. Right, so a bit in a bit now that we have fingered because the box was big. First off, the mesh is met. Yep, that's a nice box. 172 scale, they're all 172 because that's the size you get. This is a skill level 2, a couple of different paint schemes. Feels a weighty box. To be honest, I wish I'd have bought this one. Well, bought, I'd have had this before I did my other ME262, which I did. And I didn't like that one, I'll be honest with you, that much. And it was an okay kit to do, but from Revel. But obviously, they reckon this is a better kit. I've never done it, so I wouldn't know. The Mitsubishi A6M2B0. This one is a skill level one. It's got the one camo scheme there. I think that's all it has got with this, to be honest, is one camo scheme. There you go. Looks nice. Tells you what colours you want, but in all honesty, you can just about use any brand's colours. Again, this will just say this is the one I bought. Got that for four quid or whatever, which you can't complain. And the Curtis P40B Warhawk. Skill level 1. Again, it's likely only going to have the one camo, because I can only see that one camo scheme. There you go. You can see. So these are all where your decals go, so there's no like just the one colour. But for twenty three pound, that is what you get. Now we're going to have to see whether it was worthwhile, or I ought to have bought them separately. So I'll now look up the pricing, and I'll give you the pricings of what the both going to be if you bought them all individual. I bought it all as one as the set and how much you've saved. 
Right then, after messing about on the internet for a few minutes, I've got the prices of what they are to buy at the moment. The ME262, cheapest I can find is £11.69. These do not include any postage, I must reiterate that, none of them include it. So it's £11.69 for the ME262, and that's from Firestone Games. Airfix, from their actual store, £17.99. The P40B is £8.99 at Airfix, but you can get it for £6.74 at E-Models. The Zero is £8.99 from Airfix, but £8.19 is the cheapest I could find from E-Models. So, adding all of them together, we get a total for Airfix of £35.97, which saves you £13. Which is quite a lot that actually, when you sit and you look at it, it's a good saving. But this is where it changes now. Because you don't know what you're getting, you're just buying. I mean, that's why I ended up with two of these. Because you don't know what's coming. That's why it's a mystery box and it's part of the fun of buying them, to be honest. So working it out separately, it's only £26.62 to buy them if you bought them separately. Again, do not include any postage. Which saves you £3.63. £3.63 is not a lot when you don't know what you're getting. Now, I can understand Airfix, they're going by their pricing off of what they sell these kits for straight out. But if you're watching this and you're watching it because you want to know, is it worth buying it? All honesty, probably not this time. The last one I bought, I did enjoy a lot. I thought it were a really good value because of it just what it was. These three kits, they look nice kits. I've not reviewed them. I've not even done one at any of these. So they will be coming up in subsequent videos. But I've no starter set. So if you're buying it for your first ever time, you've got your one starter set to give you an idea of what you're doing. All the kits look nice. They're all World War II. But I generally don't think it's worth that money especially when you look at what you can get like the Messerschmitt for it's nearly a third off to what Airfix's price are if you look 11.69 to 17.99 but you, you you get what you pay for these days you are making a saving it's just not a lot it's up to you as a customer to decide what you want to do hopefully it's helped you make some decisions probably buy that from Firestone Games at a bargain price and then you can buy whatever you want then after because they're not far off of what Airfix prices are anyway it's up to you thanks for watching please like and subscribe hopefully you'll hang around to see these being uh, made, painted, reviewed be nice and I'll see you on the next video